Hello. Hi. You may wonder what the co-founder of a multi-billion-dollar hedge fund is doing in Harlem. That seems about right because he's teaching a course on money, or rather, financial responsibility. What do you think is the biggest thing holding these kids back? Access. Meet former Goldman Sachs banker and trader Stephen Mandis. These are his students, most of them seniors at the Thurgood Marshall Academy on 135th Street. What would you say is the biggest misperception when it comes from people thinking about this area and the inner city? They'll think that we're street smart and not actually book smart, but it's our goal, and it's up to us to get past that. <laughs> Malcolm Wicks and his classmates grew up in the inner city, surrounded by crime, drugs, poverty, gangs. Now, once a week after school, these teens learn about things like investing and mortgages. How much do you typically want to have as a deposit when you're buying a home? Twenty. About twenty percent. Everything I learn, I bring it home to my parents and my family, and then so they can get a clear understanding of what I'm getting. Are they? Are your parents like a little surprised? Did they say, "Boy, I wish I'd known that"? Yeah. Though Wall Street is just a subway ride away, none of them has ever spent time there, much less met anyone who worked there. Before Steve came, it always seemed like it was a secret, and now he like unveiled it. And Bessa Tawani is 15 and the only sophomore in the group. Yeah, it's like learning to sing from Beyonce. Learning, for example, how to ask the right questions, like the day they analyzed the credit crisis, role playing, and Bessa asked, "Do you have proof and documentation?" And I said, "Geez, if somebody had just asked that common question at the beginning, we would probably wouldn't be in as big a trouble as we are." And it's a matter of giving them the confidence that they understand that that's actually a very good question. <laughs> that's sort of a big part of finance. Before you started this class, when you thought about people who were really rich, who did you think of? Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah. Bill Gates. Who else? Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. Athletes. Athletes. Now they've learned to see wealth differently. Well, it's not about how much you get to spend; it's about how much you can save. It's about how much you get to save. Okay, and Malcolm. Yeah, she took、oh. words right out of my mouth. <laughs> okay, in your mind, what is success? If these kids go off to run a Fortune 500 company or something perhaps more modest. Success, I think, is is for the for them to be happy, and I think part of happiness is having control of your own financial destiny. 